Hey YouTube, I'm Nick from Nick282K and today I made a simple demonstration of cavitation. By lowering the pressure inside the bottle, I was able to promote the growth of cavitation bubbles. By striking the bottle from the top, the bottle moves down very quickly, quicker than the water can actually move. This causes a momentary drop in pressure at the bottom of the bottle. The pressure drops lower than the vapor pressure of the water, causing it to instantly boil, forming these cavitation bubbles. When they collapse, a very strong shock wave is formed that propagates upward through the water column inside the bottle. This causes those secondary bubbles you see farther up the bottle. To keep the pressure artificially lowered inside the bottle, I filled the bottle three quarters of the way up with water and put it in the microwave. I allowed it to cook in the microwave until the bottle was rapidly boiling, meaning that the upper quarter of it was filled entirely with steam. After it was filled with steam, I stopped the microwave and put the cap on. Once the cap was on the bottle, I began to slowly cool it using uh, cold water in the laundry tub. You can see that the bottle uh, began to boil as the pressure inside began to drop. The pressure was dropping below the vapor pressure for the water at that temperature, which was still quite hot. Once the uh, vapor pressure had equalized between the cool gas in the upper section and the warm water in the bottom, the boiling stopped and I was left with a bottle that was filled with a low pressure steam vacuum above the water and uh, liquid water in the bottom. By using the lowered pressure to promote the growth of these cavitation bubbles, this demonstration is a little safer than the standard one where you strike a half full beer bottle on the top. The lowered force required to make these bubbles means that it's less likely that you're going to explode the bottle as you strike it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you'd like to see more like this, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.